Hey guys, good morning, Preston here. So today it's Whiteboard Wednesday. I wanna cover some of the hot topics and hot questions that are coming in from KDB agents around the United States. And so today, let's just kind of cover listing agents, advertising compensation, what's gonna happen with FHA and VA loans, open houses and home values, okay? This document includes 54 of the top questions that you all submitted and our KWRI legal team vetted every one of those questions and provided answers so that you have clarity. So let's just start with this one. If a buyer says they can't afford to pay me, what do I do? Well, you would include your compensation as agreed upon in your buyer representation agreement in the offer and negotiate it directly with the seller. Okay. Number two, can I still include cooperative compensation terms on a purchase agreement contract? The answer to that is simply yes. My seller wants to offer cooperative compensation. Can I still market it? The answer to that is absolutely yes. It just cannot be in the multiple listing service. You can use mass email. You can use mass texting. You can use billboards or TV. You can use any other measure and metric that you want to other than putting into the multiple listing service. This question gets asked a lot. What's going to happen with showing time? Can they have cooperative compensation on their platform? Our KWI legal team says that please be aware that Zillow is owned by showing time and could decide not to let agents post offers of cooperative compensation on that platform, whether for liability concerns or other business reasons. Moreover, MLSs could interpret the settlement to prohibit Zillow from posting offers from multiple brokerages on showing time because it is using MLS data directly or indirectly and therefore terminate its data feeds. And so it's yet to be determined how Zillow, i.e. showing time, might show up as it relates to cooperative compensation. Uh, 15, are there any concerns about VA and FHA loans? Yes. As many of you know, certain loan products such as VA and FHA loans do not allow buyers to use concessions for certain HUD items. The mortgage industry was as surprised by these rules changes just as we were um, are in, in our industry. We are told that they are actively working on finding solutions. Uh, how do open houses work if it's not my listing? The intent of the settlement is if you want to be paid when working with buyers, it has to be done through a buyer's representation agreement where the compensation is predetermined before you begin working with them. Practically speaking, it seems you always have the option of taking someone around the house without an agreement, but understand that you are working without an agreement to be paid. If the buyer wants to work with you or you're going to have a continuous relationship where the buyer wishes to see other homes, then you will need to execute a buyer representation agreement. Can listing agents show their listings to buyers without signing a buyer representation agreement? The answer to that is yes, if the listing agent is not representing the buyer and not being compensated for brokerages, uh, brokerage services being provided on behalf of the buyer. And can you have separate buyer representation agreements for each property you show a buyer? And the answer to that is in theory, yes, you can. So those are just some of the hot questions that I highlighted that have been coming uh, to me and here around the Market Center. However, if you would like this document that includes 54 of the top questions that real estate professionals are asking around the country, just put your name down in the comments uh, or direct message me. I'm happy to send you this entire document. You guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you real soon.